a bike ride in Central Florida. What else is new? Well, there is there is something new. There is some news. How's everybody? Let's see. Can I uh, zoom out or zoom in? That's zoomed in. That's zoomed out. Well. Oh yeah, rock on. Uh, yeah, I'm out for a bike ride. Uh, I think it's gonna rain soon. I've been hearing some rolls of thunder off in the distance. It's a beautiful day here. Let me stop here. And look at all of this. Oh my gosh, what is all this? Overgrown, what is it? It's not kudzu, but like overgrown vines all over everything over here. Massive quantities of little green leaves. They grow vine-like and cover everything. There's a lake back over there too. See that lake? Wait, 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 I know. It takes a moment for the focus to kick in. But yeah, there's a lake back there. Man, these uh these vines have covered everything here. Anyway. Over well, there's the La Quinta Inn. I've showed you guys this stuff before. New hotel. Uh, plus there's another hotel behind that. Over here there's an apartment complex. Etc. Etc. This entire area built up to be this enormous uh, well, tourist uh, attraction. Sea World being not far away, a little bit one mile. And uh, I-4 a couple of miles back that way, which takes you to Disney World. Universal Studios and everything else. I mean, Universal Studios isn't even that far. If you go over that way, it's like three miles or something. Whatever. A lot of attractions around here. A lot of hotels. That's the La Quinta Inn. And the other one over there that they're trying to build. The T-R-Y-P. The Trip Inn. I guess that's where you go when you're tripping, man. Cool, man. But, you know. Oh, yeah. The news. Yeah, I did get some news today, and it wasn't, you know, all that welcome news, but a lady called, but I've been expecting it, and I'm not surprised. And it's not, it's about this year, you know. You know this year that I've been talking about for a year? It hasn't healed ever since I ran into a tree branch on my bicycle, just like now, but it was somewhere over there behind those trees. Oh, there's a trail over there, at least there was. Right now it's so, it's only really obscured by the same types of vines and things. Uh, that you're seeing here when I ran into a tree branch and I injured this ear and uh, I kept waiting for it to heal and it, it never would heal and I put band-aids on it I put triple antibiotic on it you know I, I tried everything it looked like it was getting better and then it, it the scab over the scab would come off and it would it would not heal it just wouldn't heal and so finally, I says, okay, I had just gone for a physical at the doctor, annual physical. I didn't say a lot about it, but I did mention it at the physical that I got this ear here that hadn't healed. And the, lady, and the nurse practitioner who was there says, you need antibiotics. So she prescribed me some doxycycline. And I thought it was getting a little better, but guess what? When the doxycycline was all gone, it still didn't heal. And then I started thinking, well, I need to have this looked at seriously. So I made another appointment with the doctor uh, because it's been so long. And I've heard before you know, that a wound that wouldn't heal could be a sign of early stage skin cancer. Whoa, what if it is? So I did make an appointment and the doctor said, you know what, that could be a sign of early stage skin cancer. I said, yeah. And so she, uh, uh, she referred me to a dermatologist went to the dermatologist a week ago they did a little scrape on that ear it hurt like the heck when they put them needles in my ear to numb them you know the, the process before numbing is almost as bad as actual pain itself I mean it's extremely painful putting needles in my ears ouch it really hurt anyway so they sent this uh, tissue sample off uh, to be analyzed a biopsy folks and I've been waiting and this afternoon uh, they called me back. The lady called me back uh, from the dermatologist office and she said, well, we received the results of the biopsy. I'm like, get to the point, right? And the point was, it is a basal cell carcinoma. So yeah, skin cancer. 
Well, that ear, yep. It really is, for crying out loud. Well, what do you want? I'm 64 years old. You know, stuff starts happening when you get a little bit older. But the good news is, this is like the most treatable, curable type of skin cancer there is. Especially at an early stage like this. So, I'm not terribly worried about it. They did say, well, I did make an appointment for uh, September 30th. So watch my videos on October 1st to see the result. But, and they said it's a six hour procedure. You know, they're going to do this. They're going to cut off part of my freaking ear. I hope it's not a lot. You know, people will be just figuring. I hope it's just going to be a little bit. I think that's what it's going to be. I don't think you're going to notice that much. Big band-aid for a while, but... Uh, and then you have to kind of sit in the lobby and go back and forth. They call you back once in a while for some stupid reason. Anyway, it takes six hours. So I'll be six hours at the dermatologist's office. That's going to be the worst part. Even the cancer itself is not, not worse than six hours waiting in a waiting room. Yeah. So. And then we'll, we'll, uh, well, we'll see, you know. Um, hopefully they'll be done with it then. I mean, sure, I have to go back. They'll check, make sure it hasn't come back or anything. But odds are, odds are that's going to that's gonna fix it. So, I said I'm not terribly worried about it. It's a, it's an inconvenience, to put it lightly. But it's really something that has to be done. And what I have learned after all these years of ignoring stuff, being all guy and macho about everything, so what? I got whacked in the head with a branch. I don't care. I'm tough. I'm a guy. I can, I can just keep moving on ahead in the blood. Just wipe it off your face and just keep right on going ahead. Because we're macho. We're guys. That's the way it is, folks. It's not that simple. You know, what if uh, you know, the trauma uh, from uh, a blow to the ear triggers the innate uh, skin cancer, which is exactly what happened. And uh, surprise, the cancer has another idea. Cancer thinks it's tougher than you are. Well, maybe it is. Let's hope the doctor and uh, the plan they have in place is tougher than the cancer is. Like I say, I think so. I'm not, I'm not awfully worried about it. But uh, yeah, no, I got to do what I, I got to do. What I got to do. After this, you know, it's been a weird year. It's been a heck of a year. It's been a heck of a year. If you guys have, have, were alive in this year in the United States, you know this has been one heck of a terrible year. I know next year is going to be a lot better. I have no doubt about it. It can't get worse, so it's got to get better. I mean, freaking riots and pandemics and stuff, and then cancer. And, I, and uh, I don't know, for a little while they thought that I had hepatitis, but it turned out to be false. Yay! And um, all this crap. Even I found out I had a little bit of slightly high blood pressure. Well, guess what? They put me on some medicines for that. Uh, Low-grade medicine. Uh, Benicar, old, old Mosartan. Uh, five milligrams, which is the lowest lowest level. And guess what? It fixed it. They checked that today, too. Your blood pressure is great. It's perfect. Yay! Now let's do something about the cancer. How about it? So, yeah. <laughs> you know what, folks? I can tell you right now, everything's going to be okay, and, you know, life is good, and I'm going to keep on riding my bike, and I'm going to keep on being happy and enjoying life. That's what I'm going to do. Now my biggest scare is getting across the street. Nobody coming that way. There's some folks over that way. Yep, there's a leak over this way. I just got to get across the street. There was, a, there was a big lake over there behind me, but they're draining the lake. They're doing some construction. Unfortunately, they're draining the lake, which is not cool. I don't want them to drain the lake. I like the lake. Anyway, we know there's a lake over here, and we like this one. So there goes the Lynx bus, uh, the Orlando bus. Bus system, system is often. When I first moved here, it took me two hours because I lived out by Disney World. And my job is uh, by Sea Road. How far away is that? Well, if you go by bus, two hours. Now, when I first moved here, it took me two hours to get to work and two hours to get me home. And I worked eight hours in between. See, I was working a lot. 
Ah, I gotta get out of the road here. Yeah, there's a bird back there. Flyaway bird. Oh, you think there's any gators out here today? What do you think? Haven't seen too many lately. Haven't seen any just lately. But... Well, whatever. Anyway, I'm headed in that direction over there. That would be this direction. I just heard another uh, thunder, uh, a little bit of thunder again. Going to the Dollar Tree. Wonder if I can get to the Dollar Tree and get back before I get completely, utterly soaked. I'll find out. <laughs> okay, guys. I'll let you go. I don't see any gators. If anything exciting happens, I'll pop back in all of a sudden and let you know about it. Have a great day. Stay well. Oh yeah, remember COVID? COVID is the last thing on my mind right now. So much other stuff's been going on. Well, you guys have a great day. All right, bye-bye.